All right, so hey, welcome everybody. It's Ben from good to go This is probably the second longer form video. We, I'm usually doing good to go in 60, 60 seconds. And Nate and I have been working on this good to go TV model where we take five, six, seven minutes and we focus on a couple of topics. And today we're excited because we're gonna talk about patio in a few seconds, but we wanted to start right here at the base of the Pro Cathedral, at the beautiful fountain at the bottom end of Algonquin here because of the environment. And I always used to say that, that if there was a piazza, if there was a city square, if we were in Europe, this is where it would be in North Bay. So the beauty of the environment and the sound, not of the traffic maybe, but of, of the fountain and the beautiful cathedral in the background, I think is the perfect backdrop to tell you why when the patio opens on Friday, the government told us yesterday that it's gonna be the greatest summer yet. As we come down this way, thank you, Nate, you can start to see the size of our patio, which is I think quite, quite, you know, large. It, it allows us a lot of flexibility in how we move forward here. Gonna make sure we don't get killed. It's awesome. Um, so the patio is just in front here and we're allowed, Premier Ford said yesterday that restaurants are allowed to open up patios. And that's a great next step. It's a wonderful next step in us moving forward. And we couldn't be more ec ecstatic about it. I don't have all the answers, but I wanted to let you know that we will be open on Friday. The weather's not expected to be great. And I'm trying to get some music for Friday and Saturday out here. And yeah, so here we are, we're coming up to our patio. And you can see that we're redoing our planter boxes. We've got some wonderful um, geraniums, orange geraniums, and some, and some other paraphernalia that Harriet Madigan has helped us do. I've got a tree, I've got a locust tree that I'm actually putting a planter box in and we're gonna plant a big tree in here this weekend. But we've got plenty and plenty of seating. We are gonna make sure, we haven't done this yet, we're gonna make sure that every table is two meters apart. So we're gonna have that six foot spacing and we're gonna mark it out. We're gonna do this throughout the patio. And we're gonna also ensure that the server has room with social distance spacing to allow you to go through him to him or her to come through and serve our customers safely. Um, we don't have all the rest of the particulars yet. We are gonna be open for our, our liquor license will be open, but you'll also be able to dine here as well. So same thing, you come in through the front doors, you, you make your order, six feet apart at our sneeze guard protected um, window. You grab your food and or drink and you will be able to come back out here and enjoy a patio finally in great, great weather, hopefully. And away we go. So super excited. We love our patio. We're gonna get it cleaned up. We got our stuff out. We got more stuff out. And I hope you're as excited as I am about Friday. So let's move inside. Like I said, you'll be able to come through these doors walk through our little footy prints here that Nathan did. Six foot spacing, come around, full on menu, and away we go. Um, I just wanna, I just wanna, to say hello to this man. Hey, so wave to the camera. Hey everybody, how you doing? <laughs> what? How you gonna be open? There you go. This guy's a mixologist. He's gonna be mixing some of your drinks. And one of the things I'll just jump into um, is our Father's Day menu, which will be sent out um, um, in, the next, in the next day or so. So there's a three course meal, good to go, famous Caesar salad. You can add chicken to it, bacon if you want. And if you're vegan, we'll put some plant-based crumble in there. Our second course is barbecue chicken and ribs, which dad will love. Creamy garlic mashed potatoes, a little bit of pasta salad on the side, fresh baguette, finished off with a dreamy brownie. We're gonna have that available. And we're also gonna be able to sell you some beer. So we can send a four pack of beer here along with that. Or Matt, Matt the mixologist is gonna be making a celery and basil. Caesar. A Caesar. We're gonna hand press the celery and basil. We're gonna make you that Caesar, give it to you in a glass bottle so you can take it home and enjoy it with dad. Pretty excited. Stay tuned, check Facebook, check, check Instagram. You'll be able to order that in the next 24 hours. Let's go back now and we're gonna focus on one food. One of the things that I wanna do, Nate, one of the things as we come through the production kitchen, 
One of the things I want to do is focus on one menu item per week. And this week, we want to focus on the authenticity and the uniqueness of a good to go smoothie. So let's get Brenna over here, Brenna. All right, so we're excited. Here we are at our first little top-down menu item little focus job. And Brenna, she should have been a hand model. Look at her beautiful hands all gloved up here. And she's gonna walk us through this um, uh, making of a funky monkey smoothie. All right, we ready? So we put in, here's the thing about good to go in smoothies. Only real food, real fruit, real bananas, real strawberries, real raspberries, real blueberries, no purees, no nothing. It's pure stuff. This is handmade, in-house crushed peanuts. It's our handmade peanut butter that goes in with the, with, with the bananas. We will put in some of our lowest fat frozen yogurt you can find in Canada. So we put Froyo in there to make that, that smoothie taste, taste great. Now, we don't, again, add fake chocolate or syrup. This is actually chocolate almond milk. Yes, chocolate almond milk. So you see that going in here. We put in the ice, you know, that gives it a little bit of crush and frosty uh, feel to it. And if you wanted, over here, you see some people put in espresso. So you can make this thing caffeine oriented. You want a boozy smoothie? Amaretto, Disarono, Kahlua. That can go in that, makes that a boozy smoothie. You want to add protein, New Zealand whey protein. That can go in it as well. We're not going to put it in for now. And we are now going to just crush this baby up. It's that simple. The beautiful sound of crushing. Real quick, there it is. We're gonna pour this into our good to go 16 ounce, 18 ounce smoothie glass. And ladies and gentlemen, that's it. That is a handmade, pure, real fruit only, funky monkey smoothie from good to go. Join the goodness movement.